Hi, I'm Pierce Paul, corn and small grains pathologist in the Department of Plant Pathology at The Ohio State University. Um, my research focuses heavily on integrated management and epidemiology of diseases of corn and wheat, and I do quite a bit of work on um, barley as well. And by epidemiology, I mean I study what environmental factors and what crop production factors lead to high levels of disease. And when you're talking about head scab or ear rats in corn, I also look at what environmental factors affect high levels of mycotoxins in the grain. So that's the epidemiology side of what I do. And then I do integrated management, look at how you can use multiple strategies to control disease. And these include resistance, it includes tillage, it includes crop rotation. And we look at all of these factors and see how effective these factors are in controlling disease. And an important part of my program involves looking at the economics of these strategies. So not only do I look at how effective these strategies are, I evaluate the cost benefit of using these different strategies. So in a nutshell, that's what my program is all about. Funding for this type of research comes from USDA dollars um, through the U.S. Wheat and Barley Scab Initiative for the scab research that I do. I do get resources from the Ohio Wheat Checkoff, the Ohio um, Small Grains Marketing Program, that's what they call it. And I do get um, funding from um, industry as well to help support my research. What I'm doing out here today is looking at some of my trials for evaluating Fusarium head blight and disease management strategies for head scab. So Fusarium head blight is one of the most important diseases of wheat in Ohio and in the U.S. in general, actually in the world. And one of the most important strategies for controlling Fusarium head blight is the use of fungicides. So what I do have here is a fungicide efficacy trial for Fusarium head blight control that's funded by the USDA through the U.S. Wheat and Barley Scab Initiative. And in this trial, we are looking at multiple different fungicides, different timing of application of these fungicides, and different combinations of fungicide to control Fusarium head blight. So we walk these plots, we apply these different fungicides, and then we inoculate these plots with the fungus, and then we compare these results in terms of how much head scab you've got, how much vomitoxin is in the grain, and then we make assessment of how effective these fungicides are in terms of reduction of disease levels and mycotoxin levels relative to the check. So here, right next to me here, we've got a, um, a non-treated check. In other words, no fungicide was applied to this plot, and right next to it on, the, on my left side, you've got fungicide, um, the fungicide Prozaro applied. And if you look at these plots, you can see a clear difference in terms of the level of disease between the non-treated plot and the plot that received an application of um, the fungicide Prozaro. The important thing about fungicide applications for head scab control is that these fungicides have to be applied as close as possible to bloom. When those anthers, when the wheat um, spike or the wheat head is in that flowering growth stage, that's when the fungicides tend to be most effective. That's when you have to apply those, um, these fungicides. And like I said, here you've got a non-treated check, high levels of scab. I'm sure you've got very high levels of amitoxin in the grain here. And on the left side, you've got Prozaro applied at that flowering growth stage, relatively low levels of disease. So even with the most effective fungicides such as Prozaro, Caramba, or Miravis Ace, you don't get 100% control. What fungicides do, we typically call it suppressed disease. It reduces the level of disease compared to the untreated check. So you've got the check here with high levels of disease, and you've got the plot right next to it treated with Prozaro, and as you can see, you still have some level of disease. What Prozaro does gives you about 55, 50 to 55% control of the disease compared to the check. And because we inoculate these plots, you probably have higher levels of disease than you would ever see in a farmer's field. So 50% control can still give you the level of control you need to bring vomitoxin down below two parts per million.